Hey guys, here I am again, Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio up here. This time we're demonstrating a radio out of a 72 Chevelle SS350. Uh, this comes from my friends at DNA Automotive in uh, Unity, Wisconsin. Thank you so much uh, to my friends at DNA for your business all the way from Wisconsin. Uh, DNA has requested uh, the uh, FM conversion wired to the original connector, so he, so they don't get that big increase in output power, but they but they do get FM and an aux input. So uh, let's go ahead and turn it on and make sure everything works before we send her back. I've got it set to AM at the moment to the one strong station I get. So here we go. Uh, subpoenas and interviews, Here's our but it's a AM radio. Report. And while we have it on Attorney talk radio, Miguel we're going to demonstrate McCarthy. our balance and fader functions. Uh, he's, uh, in a, an Front rear fader. This moment. Uh, Fader adjust. Okay, Welcome so now this tone control is adjusting our front rear speaker balance all the way front, all the way rear, front, rear. Okay, I'm going to center him. Fader set. set. Okay, left right balance. Never. Balance adjust. All right, so now the same control is adjusting our, our left right balance all the way left, all the way right. Yeah, left, know, um, right, okay, center I mean, those. Guys were rolling cahoots together. What, what? Balance set. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, FM, are, which uh, we do by turning the unit off and then right back on within about half a second. So here we go. Off on. Okay, and I have all five presets set to FM stations in my area for a quick test. And uh, this, is, uh, this used to be the light that lit up the stereo light. Uh, only lit when you had a tape in there because since this was an AM radio the only stereo output would have been a tape so I've reassigned this to be an FM stereo indicator let's go ahead and run through the presets real quick okay, that one drifted a bit okay so there's that let's let's try the 8-track got some Neil Sedaka here Push the but put the push the eject button and the tape comes out and the radio comes back and uh, on this model I always recommend not using the eject button because these buttons are more than 50 years old now they're thin flimsy plastic they're pretty brittle and this eject button has a downward slant on the end so when you push it straight in it's going to want to go down so if you do use this first uh, you want to also preset this button to the station that you usually listen to because pressing the eject button also changes the station setting. Uh, but uh, at any rate, just make sure you push that thing straight in, because uh, otherwise it's it's bound to break off. So that's the only precaution on that. Let's make sure the dial lights work, and you can see that they all three come on when I press and release the button. This one goes out when you put a tape in, so you're not heating up this uh, this dial lamp. So that takes care of that. I'm Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And to reach me for service, please visit the website in the description below. And please download and print a work order before calling me with a bunch of questions, because that's what the work order is for. Uh, you have to print and fill out a work order anyway if you're going to send a job in. So you might as well just go ahead and make that the first step towards uh, learning my options prices turn times that's all in the work order and then uh, once you have a work order in your hand I'm happy to talk to you just just so we're clear on that so uh, thanks so much for watching listening thank you to my friends at DNA automotive for your business all the way from unity Wisconsin and we'll see you guys next time